Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. I want to thank everyone. We're up to 534 subscribers, hoping to get to 1,000. So if you can be so kind as to hit subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. Wanted to point out these playlists. I have several of them now, and we're going to continue on today with the mind map. This can be either for an interview or the uh, certified system admin exam. So what this is supposed to do is if you take a look at the um, previous uh, episodes that I have about uh, exam preparation, what you'll find is that the mind map will help you um, develop sort of a strategy for um, approaching the exam. So today what we're going to do is we've already have these three as part of our mind map and uh, my apologies for showing you what the other one was. I kind of wanted it to be a surprise but um, you saw one of the other three that we're going to add. And um, I'm going to show you also within the tool how to visualize it too. Because I uh, have experienced two types of schools of thought on how to prepare for exams. One is to just do sort of like flashcards and, and memorize stuff and do the practice questions. And another one is to have the experience in the tool. And I feel that with this exam, you kind of need a little bit of both. So I'm going to show you both and we can combine them into um, one nice little mind map um, that you can use uh, when you approach the, uh, uh, the exam. So our first one um, is going to be uh, our key phrase within the question, if you will. And this can also go for interviews too. So if you're being interviewed for a job, uh, service now position, they might ask you things like this. Um, this one might be a little bit elementary, but usually they ask you stuff about navigation. But this one is basically 32 character um, graphic user ID, and basically sys ID um, would be what they're referring to here. So if we go into uh, the platform, we'll see here sys ID. I'm sure we could probably count these out, but let's just um, agree that these are 32 characters right here. And the way you would you would find that is if you did the personalized list columns, you can pull in the sys ID field there. So what I'm going to do is pull this over into our map and build on it. So we're going to put that right there. And again, I'm not sure if these will be on the on the exam themselves um, or um, uh, if this will be the exact phraseology. But these are the types of things that in the past um, I've experienced. Definitely in interviews, they'll ask you things like this. So let's move on to our next topic, breadcrumbs. So I put down three things um, that are associated with it. So what are breadcrumbs? Um, it's a link, it's underlying text, and there are criteria right, that we use to go ahead and filter. So if you see right here, this right here is a, a breadcrumb. Um, and I could even uh, two finger click if I'm on a Mac, which I am, or right click, and that would pull this up here. Uh, these three options. Um, also, one thing I forgot to mention was that with that sys ID, um, I did a video on how to copy the sys ID and the different places that you can find it. So you can refer to that video too. So I'm going to pull this right over here, this little phraseology, over into our list. And remember uh, from the last episode, I, I said that the, it's up to you how many columns you want to have in your mind map. Maybe you want to put everything in, in one one column here um, for the um, basically the the key to whatever it's asking for here, or vice versa. So that'll be up to you, and that's just a I guess a stylistic issue, if you will. So then the third one here is the content of the table, which is a list. So right here we're looking at the list, and if I were to put in incident dot list, which I have right here. I'll just hit enter and then we'll see the same list will we'll pull up and here we go and then I'm going to take this and copy it and put it over here okay so um, these are the three that we've added these are the three from before you can refer to the other video if you could subscribe I'd really appreciate it need um, about another 450 subscribers to make a thousand and that's my goal so uh, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and we just unlocked the power of service now. Thank you and have a great day.